Here I'll show you what to do when Windows 10 updates tells you you're not up to date, but it doesn't offer you any updates. So let's just check for updates right now. We're going to click on Start. We're going to go to Settings, right? And we can maximize that and go to the last item, Update and Security. And if I click on Check for Updates here, it's going to take a peek at the updates. And then it's going to tell me you're not up to date, but it's not offering any updates. So here's what you do. You can open your favorite browser. In this case, I'll just open up Edge here. And we can search for Windows 10 ISO. All right. And you want this page here, Windows 10 disk image. Make sure it's the Microsoft domain. All right. I'm going to click on there. And here you could actually download an ISO, but what we want is this bit at the top here, Windows 10 update. It may not say the same update as this one, but you want to click on update now. And a file, depending on your browser, uh, will appear either in the lower left or it may be a download arrow up here if you're using Firefox. But regardless, whatever, go ahead and open up that file and say yes when it asks if you want this app to make changes. All right. And then you're going to get this Windows 10 update assistant. So now at this point, you can close your browser, right? And you want to click on update now. It's going to do a little check. As long as everything's OK, you can go ahead and click on next. All right. And then it's going to start downloading and installing. Right. You can minimize at this point if you have other things to do. Uh, but if you'd like to watch it, of course, you can keep an eye on things. After installing so much of it and then restarting, you will probably see something like this, uh, which is the final bit of the setup after restart, where it's organizing and consolidating its files. So as it says, don't turn off your PC. Well, this is happening and uh, just have some patience to let the process complete. This error here is unrelated to the update, but if you do see something like that, uh, go ahead and click on there to bring up the Microsoft account uh, repair window. And basically, it's going to want you to sign in and, uh, you know, reauthorize. I'll just close that for now. And your computer should be up to date with the latest updates. So let's go ahead and jump in to Windows updates. And we'll check for updates once more. And here we see that there are some updates on top of the large update that we just downloaded. And that's good because before we weren't seeing anything, right? It would just say, you've got updates or you need updates, but it wasn't giving us anything in this area here. And also there's this section here, view optional updates. We can click on there and we can select any drivers that may need downloading and installing. And add that to the list of updates. And now it wants to restart. So we'll go ahead and do that.